Yeah. Hey prof, just a quick one. Why do you prefer traveling uh, with a bus and you leave your car at home? You see what's happening, Dennis? Eh? You know that uh, the distance between Eldoret and uh, Nairobi has not changed. But before I used to travel between Eldoret and, um, and Nairobi using 800 shillings. But today we are spending 16 hundred meaning that fuel ha everything has gone up transport has gone up distance has not gone up what has gone up it just means that corruption has gone up because remember that they said that corruption has doubled in kenya because uhuru kenyatta said that we are losing two billion shillings per day to corruption and last month it was recorded that corruption has doubled so doubling has doubled fuel so imagine before before Ruto became president, I could spend maximum 10,000 shillings on fuel from Nairobi to Eldoret and back. But now it will cost a minimum of uh, 25,000 to 30,000 on filling a car from Nairobi to Eldoret to and fro. For that matter, it will be cheaper for me to use public transport because when we are saying Kenyans are broke, who are the Kenyans and one of them? Because the only person who is not broke is William Ruto and those who are close to him. Everybody else in Kenya is broke. So economy is tough. But also, I think that toughness economy also exposes people like us to understand what Kenyans go through. Because when you live in Karen, you, you drive in a public transport, you never know what actually happens. But here we are in touch with reality. We can see the way everybody is worried about accidents happening in Kenya. I'm also concerned about it. So one day when you become a head of state, you can actually know that if you don't fix this road, you'll be back here one day. And I can tell all those who are joining Kenya Kwanzaa, one day and just one day, one of you will also in the bus like me and like us. It's not a curse, but it'll make you feel what Kenyans feel. Thank you. And what, what do you think the, the best solution you can offer to Kenyans? The best solutions that we can offer to Kenya is to reduce corruption. Because for every liter of fuel, 99 shillings goes to corruption because corruption is budget for so you have to put it inside the fuel the other thing is we have to lower the cost of running government can you imagine that state house has spent 691 million shillings more on hospitality this year entertaining people like benny hill entertaining people who have come from hollywood yet kenyans are hungry but you're entertaining people using kenyans money then you are telling Kenyans to wait the economy is bad and there is no money. People are wearing living lives beyond them. Ndindi Nyoro is a billionaire. He has acquired an own house. How can someone become a billionaire within one year and the salary of a minister is just about two million shillings? It means theft, corruption and looting. And I can tell them, when you go to heaven, even not 1,000 will be accepted. You only go yourself with your soul. And you'll be buried just in a small square feet. So we'll remind them that in heaven, money is not needed. Just take enough to eat. There's enough for everybody's need, not for everybody's greed. Thank you. Welcome.